Well, Steve, it's been a pretty nice, it was very warm, I would say, it's this humid. afternoon, yep, and we yep. can feel the humidity <laughs> coming back, but nice and sunny. There's, there's, you know, no shortage of that lately. We might see a shower, a thunder shower, but no big storms this mm -hmm. weekend, that unless you're watching good. from Wachula and Sebring and maybe Arcadia. Okay. We saw that today, but look at our birds. Oh. Oh, look at that. Now, I've noticed that Sunny is really getting alert. And yes. has that look Growing in the up. eye. Yeah, mm -hmm. Growing up. And uh, Mom, this was, of course, earlier today. Well, it was still daylight. Mom giving her shade against that bright sun and with our dew points in the upper 60s. I want to thank one of our viewers for sending in a great picture from uh, northeast of Paris. These are lenticular clouds. We don't see them that often in Florida. It's indicative of a lot of turbulence. We see them in the western mountains a lot. Thank you, B. Knowles, for sending that in to pick at mysuncoast.com. That was part of the storm that later went on into Polk County where they had severe thunderstorm warnings out right about 6.30 or 7 o'clock tonight. Across the state at this hour, temperatures in the 60s because of the clouds and rain up north. Down here south of the stationary front in the uh, mid-70s in the southern part of the state. In our viewing area, temperatures, rather than being in the 70s coastside to the 80s inland, they pretty much stabilized. Right now at Anna Maria, it's 71 degrees, 73 at Longboat Key, Siesta 72 and Old Myaka 72, so you can see that temperature contrast is not there as the sea breeze has collapsed, and you saw the, earlier in the broadcast that front producing storms in the east. 73 at Minnesota and Boca Grande, uh, Port Charlotte, your current temperature is 75. Let's take a look at that stationary front poised right across the, the state. Uh, now, we had thought that these storms might be strong enough to trigger uh, an outbreak of uh, fairly hefty storms. That's not going to be the case, I don't think. Uh, it's more likely in the interior where we have the daytime heating and these sea breezes that develop and come in from the Gulf Coast. This went all the way across the state this evening, producing severe thunderstorms up uh, in the northern part of our viewing area and now has moved out in the Atlantic. And we could see a repeat of that again tomorrow. The Storm Prediction Center believes that that's the area for the balance of tonight that could see severe storms or heavy storms. We're in the clear here and we will be tomorrow, even though they're just blanketing garden variety showers and thunder showers for the uh, most of the sunshine state tomorrow. Now here's our RPM computer forecast model showing the evolution of the stationary front for the next couple of days. There's the low and the sea breeze front moving out to sea. Some fairly hefty storms indicated on this RPM model in the Gulf, but not hitting us. And as that model, uh, as the uh, stationary front moves further south, it'll start to break up by late Saturday. And uh, we'll only have partly cloudy skies left by Saturday night into Sunday. High pressure will build in from the north come Sunday, and that will clear things out and set the stage for a really nice spell of dry and warm weather. Unsettled through Saturday, though, that's the weather word, and we will have storms more likely in inland areas. And next week, you're going to like it, sunny and warm, great beach weather, great outdoor recreation. Tomorrow, if you dodge the possible thunder showers, it should be a great day on the water. East winds at five knots, northwest winds in the afternoon, seas two feet or left or less, a light chop on bay and inland waters. If you're heading to the beach, make sure you take the sunscreen with a UV index of 10, air temperature 81, saltwater temperature 77. Here's my forecast for tonight. Look for skies to be partly cloudy with a slight chance of showers and thunder showers. Maybe some patchy fog inland, low 66 with light winds. And for tomorrow along the sun coast, a beautiful partly sunny day with an odd shower, thunder shower possible, but 30, 40 percent high of 82. And here's our seven day outlook showing that we uh, dry out after those showers and thunderstorms, their chance of them ends on Saturday. Uh, highs in the mid 80s and then Sunday clearing out in Haley all next week. Look at that. Nothing but sunshine. Highs in the 80s, overnight lows close to 60 degrees.